So we're going to make a video on how to calibrate your microscope using a stage micrometer. So here's a stage micrometer and it's just a regular microscope slide except that it has um, some printing on it and so um, this stage micrometer is just a $10 Amscope stage micrometer and in this one, one division is 0 0.01 millimeters. So that's 10 micrometers uh, per division. So what we need to do is take a picture of the stage micrometer using the different objectives. So we'll put the stage micrometer in. We have to make sure the text is not backwards to make sure that we're using the right side. And we are on the four, uh, four times objective. And um, so um, I will do this. Let's see. Uh, first, you go to the camera, and if you have manual focus, it's really important to turn it on, because if you don't have manual focus, your camera is going to be auto-focusing, and then that changes the size, which will mess up your measurements. So we'll do manual focus, set the manual focus all the way, um, all the way far, and that way we're going to be focusing just using the, uh, the focusing knob on the microscope instead of uh, the camera trying to focus. So uh, there it is right there. So this whole thing is one millimeter across. And uh, this looks nice and uh, nice and sharp. So we'll take a picture. Now I'm going to switch the objective to the 10x objective. So this is magnifying 100 times. And let's we'll adjust the focus on the microscope. That looks nice and sharp. Take another picture. And go to the 40x objective. So magnifying 400 times. Uh, still looks pretty good. So these um, these things here are 10 micrometers apart. So from here to here is 50, and from here to here is 100. So we'll take a picture at this, and then we will take one to calibrate the highest power um, objective. And for that, we need a drop of oil. So here's some immersion oil. We'll just throw that on top of there, and put the 100x oil immersion objective on. And focus it again. And take a picture. And now we're going to load these pictures onto the computer. And I'll show you how to calibrate Pixie Meter um, or Image J if you have a Macintosh or Linux in order to be able to measure things really accurately with digital measurement. So now we're going to. Uh, download Pixie Meter, which is free software that we can use to measure uh, the stuff that we see in the microscope. So it's Pixie Meter, P A X I M E T R E. And we get it from pixiemeter.fr. And this website's in French, but the programs in English or various other languages, all you really have to know is that French for download is Telecharges. And um, this is only for Windows, so if you have Linux or uh, anything else, then, um, then you use Image J. So here's the download button over here. And now it's downloading. So now we're going to calibrate Pixie Meter to uh, be able to measure. And so this is the picture we took of the micrometer with the 100x objective. So these are 10 micrometer divisions. So we'll hit calibrate. And we select on all images. And so if we draw from here to here, that's 100 micrometers. So I'm going to try to do it from the middle of the lines to be the most accurate. And now we tell it. That was 100, hit validate, and this is with the microscope, Allen microscope, and the objective, 100x, and the standard is recorded, and just to test it, if we were to measure from here to here, it should measure 20, 19.97, super close, and if there was a spore there, we would um, click on how, just the edge of the spore here, 
and now we have one spore measured. We can, if there was another spore here, we'd measure it like that. And another spore over there, we'd measure it like that. And we'll just uh, pretend like we're measuring five spores. And now if we look over at the statistics, um, we can see that here's the actual measurements of the five spores that we measured. And the smallest one is 12.4 long and 8.3 micrometers wide. And then the biggest is 20 long. And so we get these really cool spore statistics. It says we've measured spy five spores, and it gives you the Q value and the mean. And so um, that makes it really quick and easy to measure a bunch of spores.